Steve at Horizontal Motorsports just doing a little work this on the weekend here uh, this is basically checking all the main bearing clearances on a Subaru block this is a race motor that's going to be seeing a lot of power so this is the only correct way to do it as you can see the cylinder heads are actually bolted onto the block right now uh, those are half inch head studs and they are torqued all the way down to spec. We also have a real head gasket in between the head and the block. Um, this is probably a little overkill, but better safe than sorry in my opinion. Basically what we're trying to do is we have a brand new set of bearings inside the block. What we're trying to do is simulate the engine completely assembled with the heads torqued onto the block. The case bolts are also torqued to spec but no crankshaft or rotating assembly is in the block. Uh, the reason why we do this is because the only way to know if the main line on a Subaru is correct or what your measurements are inside here, this is the main line, is to bolt everything down because what we found happens is, with especially with these half inch head studs, um, basically the torque that you're putting against the block actually physically tweaks the block. The metal in the block actually flexes, all being aluminum. And what happens is you could have this all correct on the bench without the heads on it. You go to torque your heads on and put it in the car. Well, this main line is now off and you will have a failure. Uh, depending on how much power you're pushing and whatnot and how much it actually tweaks the main line, uh, you'll have an engine that will definitely uh, spin a bearing very quickly. So what I've found is this is the only way to accurately do it. It's very time consuming. Um, all of this takes approximately three to four hours to do it right. And then after you figure it out, if it's good, then you can proceed to tear it all back down, re-clean everything, reassemble it for real. Um, however, if it's out of spec, the block has to be sent out and it has to be a line board. Uh, this is extremely difficult on a Subaru block. There's only a handful of people that can do it. So basically if you get to that situation, you pretty much have to either find another block. Um, you can swap bearings around to try to get your clearances back. It just depends on how bad it really is. Um, see my spec sheet here this particular engine is uh, definitely needing mainline work you can see I've got six and a half thou to all the way up to almost seven thousands oil clearance uh, this is definitely uh, not good enough for a race motor this motor would have low oil pressure in the rod journals and it would be sure to spin a bearing so the tools required to do this job um, basic calculator, a high quality uh, micrometer. This one here is made by Snap-on slash Bluepoint. Uh, this one works extremely well. And also you're going to need a bore gauge. Um, this one here is digital. Uh, I spent a little bit of coin on this, but basically this is the best way to do it. You're also gonna need the crankshaft that you're gonna be using and a whole afternoon. So Steve at Horizontal Motorsports here showing you how to make Subarus better, one motor at a time.